Pat, what was it like preparing for a Sunday afternoon game and then on Saturday morning it gets moved back 24 hours? I mean, obviously the same thing for the Patriots, but what was that like and, and how did that, you feel like, affect the team's focus and your focus? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a little different, but you have to be able to expect the unexpected. Um, um, I thought I thought guys did a good job of staying focused, uh, but obviously we didn't have the success as an offense that we wanted to. So uh, uh, just trying to go into this next week, knowing we're going against a, a division opponent uh, with a, a good team, and we're about to play our best football if we want to find a way to get a win. Let's go next to Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, uh, Patrick, you talked a couple answers ago about executing that you guys need to execute better. But I, I'm just curious, they were dropping so many defensive backs into coverage. Was that similar to what Houston and, and the Chargers were doing to you, or was there a different twist? I mean, it was a little, a little similar to what, what Houston uh, was doing, um, not so much the Chargers. But, I mean, they just played they played well. And, and when guys were open, it seemed like I wasn't finding them. And I could see it on the tablet after I would go to the sideline and – uh, we were calling plays that were getting guys open. I just got to be able to be the guy to find them and get it to those guys so that they can make plays happen. Pat, uh, congrats. The the Patriots kind of stifled you guys for uh, three quarters. What was your messaging to the team on the sideline, you know, midway through the third quarter when it just seemed like nothing was working? I mean, it's the same thing I always talk about. I mean, just keep fighting, keep going out there and trying to find ways to score. And early in the game, we were moving the ball the way we wanted to move it. Uh, we were doing stuff the right way, and we, we couldn't figure out, figure out ways to get in the end zone. And then they obviously got some stops uh, there in the middle. But I'm proud of how the guys fought at the end of the game. And um, that, that game easily could have went the other direction. Kind of they had some of the, a lot of the momentum, uh, but the defense made stops, and uh, we, we were able to find ways to score, score whenever it counted. Let's go last to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Patrick, I'm wondering if you could just elaborate on, on what did change with your preparation. You know, you know, how did you spend yesterday, for example? Uh, yesterday uh, was a little bit similar. We were able to go to the hotel, but the day before, um, we were had, everybody had to get out of the building. And so you you still can, like, find ways to watch film and find ways to, to kind of do different stuff like that. But it's obviously something that you're unprepared for. So, um, I mean, I, obviously I didn't, I didn't do enough because we didn't execute at a high enough level and I wasn't able to find the guys. I didn't play very good football, but uh, I thought I did whatever I could to try to stay in tune with the game. And hopefully if this presents itself again, which hopefully it doesn't, um, I'll be able to do better.